Oh, come on, somebody give him praise here on a Tuesday night. Knowing he won't fail because he can't fail. Come on, his word is true. Every promise, every promise, it's mine. Oh, somebody rejoice right now because you know he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that you could ask or think. Hallelujah. If you got enough faith to believe, I believe God has enough power to do it. Amen. Anything you need, God can do it tonight. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I hope you come to have church in this house tonight. Amen. Such a sweet spirit of the Lord that I feel in this house. Amen. On Tuesday night, amen, revival service. Amen. You're glad to be here. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I give honor. Amen. It's good to have Brother Bobby Edwards. Amen. And his wife, Bishop. Amen. I preached her a couple of times and I finally got to meet them. And oh, I love and appreciate them. They don't know me, but I've known them afar off. Amen. And, and I appreciate their walk with God and their love for the things of God. Amen. I give honor to your pastor in his absence. Amen. He texted me before church and wanted me to let you know he had every intention to be here tonight. Amen. But he had to ease out and go to a conference a little bit early. Amen. Are you thankful for the shepherd of your house? Amen. I, I, I love and appreciate your pastor and his family. Amen. I love and appreciate this church. Amen. This is one of my favorite places. Amen. To preach. And I just believe God's up to something in this house. Amen. You, you've had a lot of... Uh, Messages the last, I don't know, two, three weeks, however long y'all been doing this. Amen. I, I really didn't come to preach a message. Usually when I come, I just come just to obey God. Amen. I got a bunch of messages I could I could preach. Amen. But I, I didn't come with no hidden agenda. Amen. I just come to flow in the Holy Ghost tonight. And uh, I, now I know a lot of you have worked today, and, and you, you have worked, and you have worked. And it's a sacrifice that you're here tonight, amen. But it, but if you would just, amen, engage for about 30 to 35 minutes, I'm telling you, there's something explosive going to hit this house tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, turn to Genesis chapter 49. Genesis chapter 49, verse 8, and then we'll go to Psalm 115, amen, 115 and 17. Amen. Genesis 49 and verse 8. Amen. If you don't have it, amen, look on the screen. They got it. It said, Israel looks at Judah, and Judah, he said, Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. And verse 10, it said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet unto Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Amen. Psalm 115 and 17 says, The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. Amen. I want to preach tonight just for a little bit. Don't bury what's not dead. Don't bury what's not dead. It may look dead. It may seem dead, but I come to tell you here tonight, it's not as dead as you think it is. One more time, somebody clap your hands and give the Lord praise all across this house. Amen, you may be seated. Amen, what I'm gonna preach tonight, your flesh isn't gonna like. Amen, but if you could for the next 30 minutes, don't let your flesh control you. Amen, but you need to control your flesh. Amen, I come on this Tuesday night to tell you that miracles are released when you release your praise. 
Miracles don't happen just because you show up, amen. Miracles happen when you show up and you begin to send something up. My Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. And whenever you send up praise, a miracle can be sent down tonight. I wish I had somebody here tonight would just take your neighbor by the hand, amen, and you would go ahead and you would agree together with them and say, not only is God gonna do it for me, but but God's getting ready to do it for you tonight. If you would begin to open up your mouth and just begin to release a little praise, I just believe there's gonna be some miracles that are released in the atmosphere tonight. Amen, I come to tell you Eastgate, amen, we're gonna break into that next level tonight. We're getting ready to break forth into this house tonight. We're getting ready to shake hell with our praise. Amen, in spite of the attack of the devil, you're not gonna bury my praise. Amen, come on, Eastgate, you hear me? You don't need a bigger building for more people. You need a bigger building for more praisers and more dancers. Come on, I didn't come to spectate. I come to participate tonight and tell you don't bury what's not dead. You need to let Judah live in this house tonight. Amen, and let God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Amen, there's gonna be some things that try and bury your promise, that try to bury Judah. And there's some things that will try and get in front of your breakthrough that God has for you. But you gotta make up in your mind, every day that I get up, I, you gotta say there's no devil that's gonna steal my praise. I don't care what I'm going through. My praise is not conditional. Amen, David said I bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. David was saying, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. You know why praise is so important? Because hell knows if I can just steal their praise and get them to stop responding, then he'll win the battle. But if the people of God on a Tuesday night would just keep on praising, there's not a devil too powerful, there's not a sickness too deadly, there's not a trial too ugly that can stop you from what God has for you. I come to tell Eastgate on a Tuesday night, don't you bury what's not dead. Somebody said, I believe it. Hey Amen, there'll be some things that will try and bury Judah in your life. Hey Amen, but in the text that I read, Israel looks at Judah and he said, Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be on the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. And then in verse 10, he said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor lawgiver from between his feet unto Shiloh come, and unto him he shall gather of the people be. In these three verses, Israel tells Judah of the promises that are for him. He said, Judah, you're gonna have your enemies by the nap of their neck. He didn't say that your enemies are gonna have you by the nap of the neck. No, you hear me. Amen, your enemies are not gonna lead you around. Amen, but you're gonna be able to lead your enemy around. I wish somebody on this Tuesday night, amen, would go ahead and grab yourself by the nap of the neck and say, hey, I'm not burying what's not dead what did he promise Judah he said Judah you're going to have victory he went on to say Judah not only are you going to have victory but your brothers are going to bow to you he said you're going to rule and you're going to reign and you're going to have influence and there will be a savior born through your lineage he said through you Judah God himself is going to become a man through you Judah God himself is going to show up 
And I want to tell you here tonight, there's a promise that is connected to your praise. Amen. We were singing about it, and I come to preach about it tonight. There are many promises, amen, that God has for you that are only connected to Judah. But you got to have a Judah in your world. Amen. You can't bury Judah. If the promises are going to be born, then you got to let Judah live. Don't you bury what's not dead. You may just have a little bit of strength tonight, but if as long as you got breath in your body, my Bible says, praise ye the Lord. I want to tell you, something begins to happen when the people of God begin to get together on a Tuesday night and they begin to praise. That's why David says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. He didn't say, watch me. He said, do it with me. Because when a praiser comes together, walls begin to fall down. When praisers come together, devils begin to flee. When praisers get together, the people of God can grab their adversary by the nap of the neck and say, you're not giving me orders, but I'm giving you orders. It's time to hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Amen, some of you, the devil's run you crazy. But I wish tonight you would scrape your shoulders back, open up your mouth, and give God praise. The church has got to get madder than the adversary. The church has to stop playing all the time on the defensive side. I got after a while. You got to get on the offensive side and you got to pursue. You got to overtake because my Bible says you shall recover all. Well, it's just hard. The enemy's hitting me. Well, my God, you think you're the only one he's hitting? Amen. Amen. Get some faith tonight and hit him back. How do I hit him back? This is how I fight my battle, by my praise, by my worship. These are they that overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Eastgate, you got to take the battle, amen, to the enemy. I want to tell you this. Let's go. I don't feel it. A lot of times you don't feel it. On Tuesday night, my God, you don't feel it. Amen. But you can't go by your feelings. You got to muster up enough faith that says whether I feel it or not, I've got a promise, I got a word, and that's all I need. When God says, let's go, baby, pack up your bags. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Don't you bury what's not dead. It may not have a whole lot of life, but praise will revive that thing in this house. There's a new level God is wanting this church to go to. I had not even half believed that. Amen. I'm telling you, you've had it so good for so long. Amen. You don't know. Amen. I'm telling you, there's so much more. Don't live with good when God always has better. I'm telling you, you ain't seen your greatest revival. You ain't seen your greatest miracle. You ain't been in. I'm telling you, Eastgate, it's time. Don't bury what's not dead. Let Judah live. Let Judah live in this house. Some of you in this season have lost some things. But you hear me, you didn't lose everything. You need to send up a praise tonight that lets hell know 
I'm still here and I'm not going nowhere. You're not bearing my praise because you're not bearing my promise. My praise and my promise is connected to each other. Come on, Eastgate, I'm telling you, this is how you fight your battles, by praise and worship and glory unto God. If you're going through hell, you don't need to sit there in the mully grubs, as my late bishop would say. He said you need to get up and give God a little praise praise in the house. See, anybody can shout where you're at. Amen. But if you're going to dance, you got to move from where you're at. If you're on the sideline, you can critique and say, why ain't they doing this? Why ain't they doing that? It's a little loud. It's a little much. Amen. But when you dance, you move from the sidelines and you get in the flow of what God's doing. Amen. Anybody can shout, but I want to know on a Tuesday night, do I got any dancers that said, hey, I'm dancing not because of emotion. I'm dancing because because my promise is connected to my dance. I want to preach to somebody here tonight who may have forgot your praise at home. You need to find Judah in the room tonight before you leave because your promise is connected to your Judah. If you want a breakthrough, it all starts with your praise. If you want deliverance, it all starts with your praise. There are things in this season that will try and rob you of your praise and tell you just bury it, just put it away. That's not necessary. I got a word for you tonight. The devil is a lie. There comes a time where you say, I'm not worried about my neighbor. Who's here? Who's not here? What I look like? All I know is I need God to break up in my world so bad. And I'll do whatever I got to do. When's the last time you said there's not a price that I won't pay? There's not a shout that I won't try. Something happens when the people of God begin to praise. He said in Psalm 22 and 3, he said, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. One translation says, yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. He said, God, you are the Holy One. You sit as king upon the praises of Israel. Amen. I told you God inhabits the praises of his people, meaning he dwells there. He abides there. He sits there. See, I don't know about you tonight, but we don't need God to pass us by. We need God to abide here. We need God to come down and just sit on us tonight and say, God, I'm not going to leave here until you touch me. I'm not going to leave here until you bless me. I'm not going to leave here until you change me. As a kid, they used to say, I dare you. Pray truth or dare. And then they say, I double dog dare you. On this Tuesday night, I double dog dare somebody, amen, that has enough faith for the next three months to the end of the year to praise God like you've never praised him and watch what he does in your world. I'm talking about an unrestricted, an unorthodox praise. It said they may be singing a slow song. My praise is not predicated on what they're singing, what he's preaching. Amen, I come to tell you tonight, you need to turn your worry into worship. Come on, somebody just let out a praise right now. 
from the front to the back to the left to the right somebody hear me stop complaining and start praising stop worrying and start worshiping stop being fearful and start being faithful stop sitting down and start dancing it's time to stop pouting and it's time to shout with a voice of triumph Some of you tonight, you need to get your second wind. Amen, the enemy's knocked the breath out of you. Amen, situations have come and tried to choke the life out of you. But there's a fresh wind getting ready to come across this house. And God said, your end will be greater than than your beginning. The latter shall be greater than the former. East Gates, you hear me. It's time to break in to the next level of praise, to the next level of faith. Someone may be tired in the house tonight. I say push yourself tonight. Amen. Get a hold of Judah. You're not bearing my praise. You're not bearing my promise. It will live. I ask the question tonight. I ask the question tonight. Why would you not want to praise? Why would you not want to? Someone said, well, I don't know if I should do this or, or do that. I say if it brings him down into the room, why wouldn't you want to do it? If it causes a miracle to take place, why would you not want to run the aisles? If it helps someone get a breakthrough, why would you not want to leap for joy? Why would you not want to roll on the floor? Praise brings a breakthrough that you need. I wish somebody, amen, would forget your church shout and say, God, I come to give you, amen, everything I got. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm not the sharpest crayon in the box. Amen, but I'm not the dumbest one either. I was there at Bible school in 2006, 2010. CLC and I went and preached for a man one of my first services there he said I need you to pray for somebody here tonight I thought okay maybe a headache you know something like that something easy he said no son her son is an IC unit right now and the doctors ain't giving her no hope as a matter of fact by this time tomorrow the doctors are saying unless she gets a miracle her boy's going to be graveyard dead I thought I got her. And then I thought to myself, you can't heal anyway, son. So I thought, well, hey amen, all I know to do is pray. And then after we pray, hey amen, I didn't have much, much sense. I still ain't got much. Hey amen, I thought, well, you just praise God like it's already done. So we prayed. And, and, and I mean, we, we use all the words, by your stripes were healed. Be thou made whole in Jesus' name. I, I, I did everything I, I, I was taught to do. And then I told her, I said, ma'am, I said, how would you respond if God, when you left here, went there, amen, and you saw your boy and he was raised up? She, she didn't swear. Well, let me sit down and think about it. Uh, no, she kicked them heels off, and I knew 
is about to be on like Donkey Kong. She kicked them heels off and she went to shouting. Bobby pins went to flying everywhere. Amen, we had spectators. Why is she doing that? That's not necessary. She's, too, she's not being dignified. But I come to tell you tonight, how desperate are you for a miracle? How desperate are you for a breakthrough? Amen, I've come to tell somebody here tonight, some of you are one praise away from God giving you your promise. One hallelujah way from God turn it all around. Don't you bury what's not dead. Left there, left there. Drove up to the property of the school, 9023 West Lane, Stockton. As I'm pulling through the gate, I get a phone call, and it's from the pastor. And he said, son, he said, I just want to tell you, you remember that lady we prayed for tonight? I thought, well, my God, how could I not forget? She was the only one in the house doing anything. Amen. He said, I want you to know. She walked in that IC unit there and she looked for her boy. Her boy wasn't in the bed. Her boy was sitting up. Amen. The doctors were astonished. God raised him up. I'm telling you, it may look lifeless. It may look impossible, but don't you bury what's not dead. There's somebody here tonight. Your miracle is on life support. And God said, if you would rear back and give God praise in the name of Jesus. He'll make it whole. He'll make it come to pass. That word bury means sunken, it means lower level, it means hide or lose and I come to shovel some dirt off of someone's praise tonight and tell you amen, it's time to let that thing live it's time to let that thing come to pass in the name of Jesus You can't let your praise rest. You can't let that thing die. There's a miracle in your praise. I have nothing. You come a day late and a dollar short to tell me any different. I've seen God do too much. That's just him. Well, then I'm emotional. You're emotional. I God go to a college football game. Amen. You got some of them, they go to games and they got a do not sit down crowd. And if you sit down, they look, why are you sitting down? Amen. For some college football. Amen. A football ain't never done nothing for me but Jesus who brought me out of the miry clay, who set my feet on a rock to stay. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. Some of you don't need to be, some of you need to remember where the Lord dug you out of. The enemy has been attacking your mind. I know. It's been a a month of faith. But I know when we got a month of faith, some of us have a month of hell. You think the devil's not going to fight you coming to church on Monday night and Tuesday night? Say, oh, they just... 
They just going through the No, when you're shaking up hell, amen, the enemy fights you tooth and nail. But I say, devil, bring it on. You ain't burying my praise. You ain't burying my promise. You ain't burying my kids. You ain't burying my family. I come to resurrect that thing in this house tonight. The enemy's been attacking your mind, but you can run him out of your house. Amen, with your praise. The devil is subject unto the Lord. There has to come a time where you say, I don't care who's preaching. I don't care who's singing. Amen. I don't care who's there, who's not there. But when I get there, I got to give God praise because I know the one who's on the throne and I know what God can do. But the number one thing that will bear your praise is pride. I don't know. I just, you ain't always been that good. You ain't always looked that way. Hey Amen. Some of you used to be tore up from the floor up. Hey Amen. Saul's daughter, Michael, she couldn't stand David when he praised. The Bible said he made a fool of himself. But it's not so much what David was doing, it's what she wouldn't do. See, you, you, you may not know anything about this and say, you know what? I can be a first generation worshiper here tonight. God can burst something in your spirit. See, there's a time in your life where you say, I've looked around, amen, too long. I've looked at other people worship God for too long. Amen, I've watched long enough. Some of you need to step in the flow of the Holy Ghost tonight. You need to stop watching a move of God and you need to participate in a move of God. While the waters are being troubled, somebody needs to step in. I'm getting ready to close. I ask every apostolic in the room tonight, when's the last time you danced? When's the last time you shouted? Not everybody got your testimony, brother. Hey, man, there's some been watching you. Hey, man, instead of watching you, they need to join you tonight. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. I'm gonna prove to a visitor tonight, this is how you get your miracle. This is how you get your deliverance. This is how you get a breakthrough. Don't you let pride bury your praise, but you let praise bury your pride tonight. And say, God, it's been some time, but not So in closing, I'm going to dance all over this house. I'm going to praise my Jesus until the walls fall down. I know there's victory beyond my praise. So I'm going to dance my troubles away. April, April the 28th, 1979, Anna Williams, 63 year old lady, went out dancing with some friends, which by itself doesn't seem like much until you find out Dennis Rader, who gave himself the name BTK serial killer, was hiding in her house. He had been stalking her for months, watching her daily routine. Finally, while she was out, he broke in, he cut the phone lines, he picked out a few souvenirs to take home for his collection, and he waited, and he waited, and he waited. And Anna, who is 63, didn't want to go out to begin with, but her friends insisted she hasn't been out in a long time. And so she's out dancing with her friends, and as she is, the serial killer broke in. 
She's out dancing and the killer's in her closet at home and he's waiting while she's still dancing. Time elapsed, he's getting antsy, but Anna is still out dancing. He finally got tired of waiting for her and he picks up his stuff and he left while Anna was out dancing. This isn't a word for spectators tonight, but this is a word for people that came tonight that has a dance and a shout in your spirit. God said, while you praise me here, whatever the enemy's trying to do in your house, in your family, in your kids, is now disrupted. Somebody needs to tell hell, my dance will crush Satan under my feet. See, if you don't have a shout tonight, the enemy's waiting on you. See, she didn't come home at her usual time. She didn't come home at her normal time. That's why we can't have church as usual. Your praise can't be normal. Your shout can't be cute. Your dance can't be normal. Your prayer can't be normal. See, when you do something that you don't usually do in church, it confuses the enemy. Some of you tonight, amen, you don't usually come to church on Tuesdays. Amen, much less come to revival church and give God praise. You need to confuse hell tonight and said there should be someone in the house tonight that says I'm getting ready to praise the hell off of my kids, the hell off of my family, the hell out of my, come on, I wish somebody in this house tonight would forget where you're at and just go ahead and let praise enter the room let it sweep in this house from the left to the right to the front to the back come on don't you bury what's not dead That's it, sis. In the name of Jesus. I wish somebody would push it in this house tonight. Push in the Holy Ghost. Break that barrier. Break that barrier right now. Break that wall right now. Don't bury Judah. Don't bury that promise. But let it live in this house. In the name of Jesus. works brother Edwards I've seen God he'll stage four cancers I've seen God amen heal diabetes I've seen God give a man and woman that's been trying to have child give a miraculous miracle to them I've seen God give financial miracles Not through people that didn't want it, but through people that were desperate enough that said, hey, I may look foolish, I may look a little bit crazy, amen, but I'm desperate. I need a breakthrough. I need the walls to fall down. I need God to come to my house. I come to tell somebody, amen, lose your praise. Don't let you to be buried, but let that dirt come off of your praise tonight. I need a man that said, hey, it's been some time, but I come to dance before the Lord with all my might, with all my strength. Praise the Lord. 
Praise him in this house. The weapons we use are the bombs and guns. Worship is the way that the Oh, this is how. This, this is, is how we win. We this is how. Praise him for the victory. Oh, praise him. Lift up your voice and sing for joy. Clap your hands, make a joyful noise. Blow the trumpet and shout. Praise him for the victory. The weapons we use are not bombs and guns. Worship is the way that the battle is won. This is the way that we fight. Praise him for the victory. Lift up your voice and shout. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Lift up your voice and shout. Praise Him. Can't stop praising His name. I just can't stop praising His name. I just can't stop. Praise in His name, Jesus. I can't stop praising His name. I just can't stop praising His name. I just can't stop praising His name, Jesus. All over this house, I wanna praise my Jesus till the walls come down. I know there's victory beyond my praise. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna dance, dance my troubles, troubles away. away. I'm gonna dance all over this house. I'm gonna praise my Jesus till the world's come down. I know there's victory beyond my praise. So I'm gonna dance my troubles away. Dance all over this house. I'm gonna praise my Jesus till the world's come down. I know there's victory beyond my praise. So I'm gonna dance. We don't need no more singing. Tonight, I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost, I'm on a sign in East Gate. God's wanting to take you to a new level. You've been at a good place for so long, you feel like this is enough. There's more than enough that's in this house. I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus, there is a depth of worship that is here tonight. Amen. We don't need to spectate, but every man, every woman needs to close your eyes, throw your hands up in the air, and just let Judah live in your life and watch God take you to places you've never been before. Watch God give you a miracle in this season. Come on, we're not just preaching faith this month just to do it. We're doing it because God's calling this church to a new level, to a new place in the Holy Ghost. Come on, push past your flesh. I know you're tired. I know you're weary, but push a little bit. There's a pregnant church here. Tonight you're about to give birth in the miraculous. You're about to give birth into a new dimension of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, upon every husband, upon every wife, upon every young person, God, I pray birth it in this house. Come on, push. How desperate are you? How desperate are you?
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't you bury what's not dead. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost getting ready to breathe on us right now. In the name of Jesus, there's a mighty rushing wind getting ready to come up in this house. In the name of Jesus, come on where the Spirit of the Lord is. There's liberty, there's freedom, there's restoration, there's wholeness in His presence. 